Ladies and gentlemen, please join me in wel welcoming the Honorable Governor of the great state of West Virginia, Governor Earl Ray Tomlin. Well, thank you very much. Uh, sorry to interrupt your day, but I thought it was important to come out today and see the uh, students from uh, Herbert Hoover High School. I want to thank uh, Mr. Kelly, the principal, for being here and for being such an outstanding leader and a mentor to your students during this very challenging time. And also, I want to say a thank you to uh, Elkview Middle School principal, Missy Lovejoy, for hosting us today and for everything that you've done for your community in the aftermath of this terrible tragedy. I also want to say thanks to Speaker Armstead, President Cole, members of the legislature here, who are here with us today. We have the three members of the Kanawha County Commission here, Dr. Durin, and some city officials, I understand. I want to thank all of you uh, for being here, and especially for your strong support of West Virginia's flood recovery efforts. As we all know, th nearly three months ago, our state was hit by historic destructive flooding. 23 people lost their lives and families lost their loved ones. Homes and businesses were ravaged. Communities were devastated. And five schools, including Herbert Hoover High School, were destroyed. But we're here today to celebrate new hope for a brighter future. Along with this tragedy came remarkably quick, successful emergency response and an over overwhelming outpouring of selflessness from across the state and around our country. The challenges that remained are vast as we work to keep our communities intact and help them grow economically. But because of our quick progress on so many fronts, I know that we're up for the test. The legislation I'm here to sign today, surrounded by you students whose families, school, and community were among the hardest hit, means that we're continuing to move forward. And I am thankful for the legislature's quick passage of this bill that I presented to them just a few days ago that will provide $85 million to cover the state's share of costs associated with this flooding, including $130 million to build five new schools, Herbert Hoover High School, Clendenin Elementary, Richwood High, Richwood Middle, and Summersville Middle School. This flooding has been one of the biggest challenges of my administration, but seeing the response has been among the brightest spots. So it is only fitting that this could, may very well be the final bill that I will sign as your governor. And I'm grateful for our robust rainy day front fund from which we are using $55 million to recover and rebuild from this disaster. Right now, the federal government is covering 75% of the cost of the, the, the disaster related costs, but I'm hopeful and optimistic that we will ultimately qualify for our federal reimbursement to reach 90%. In addition to these direct costs, I have requested an additional $310 million in congressional funding that, if funded, will go towards specific long-term recovery projects in our communities. And through the public-private RISE West Virginia grant program, we have awarded nearly $970,000 in grants for impacted small businesses that employ 684 people all across the region. Recovering from this tragedy will take all of us from the state, local, federal, and nonprofit levels. But that's exactly what we do best in West Virginia. We come together. And because of that, I'm confident that we will not just recover, but we will be more stronger than ever before. Now, principals, uh, I'd like to uh, now introduce the uh, president of our state senate to say a few words, President Bill Cole. Mr. President, I appreciate it. Thank you. I appreciate it, Governor. Thank you, uh, and and appreciate your leadership through through a very very difficult trying time uh, for for parts of West Virginia. You know, as I traveled from Clendenin to White Sulphur and back through the days after the, after the flooding, I was taken by the strength of West Virginians. 
West Virginians reaching out, neighbor helping neighbor, and I tell you, I was never so proud to be a West Virginian as I was in those days immediately after the flood. And uh, I, I certainly, I think I'll uh, mirror the, the thoughts and comments of the speaker. Um, I'm proud of the, the legislature for their quick action in supporting the governor's bill and uh, in, in bringing this much needed funding to the, to the relief efforts. Uh, I, I gotta tell you, we, we moved <laughs> uncharacteristically quickly uh, in the legislature to do the right thing. So uh, hats off to the legislature, certainly to the governor and, and to, to all, all the citizens that have been so, so devastated and impacted by, by this flooding. But uh, together, we will be stronger. Together, we will be better in West Virginia. Thank you very much. And now it's my pleasure to introduce a local boy who needs no real introduction, but the uh, Speaker of the House, Tim Armstead, Mr. Speaker. Thank you, Governor, for coming here to up Elk River to sign this piece of legislation. I know that you were here shortly after the flood, and I, I think you'll agree that there's been a tremendous amount of progress in the last few months. Uh, it's, there's still a great deal left to do. But uh, we have come together up here in Elk River and in the other flooded areas, and I think that the progress has been tremendous. Uh, when we considered this piece of legislation in the House uh, a couple of nights ago, uh, I took the floor of the House and said that I think that the, the devastation that we saw here was, was hard to describe. It was hard to put into words. I've never seen anything quite like it. But the only thing that really has matched it has been the outpouring of support the outpouring of hard work and determination that we've seen in Elkview and Clinton and from throughout the state and our country that have come together to, to deal with this tragedy. And I want to take a second, since we're here at Elkview Middle, to really thank the students and the teachers and the principals because this has been a difficult transition. It's been a difficult uh, process for everyone to have all of their, their basically their life uprooted and and turned upside down in so many ways. But these teachers and principals and the students and the parents have made this work and they deserve a great deal of gratitude that we were here uh, and, and there was no great delay in terms of starting school, that we, uh, we realize there are certainly challenges to this, but they've met those challenges in I think the most remarkable way. And I wanna thank them from the bottom of my heart and I think all of the Elk River communities thank them for that. I also wanna thank the governor for uh, moving forward on this piece of legislation. This is incredibly important to make sure that we have the funding to rebuild Herbert Hoover High School. And we will rebuild Herbert Hoover High School. And I know that those who are, who are seniors this year and maybe over the next couple of years will, will not be able to necessarily be a part of that. But I know from talking to Principal Kelly, they will be a part of that. And you'll be a part of the history of our community and, and of this school. So. We, uh, we thank you for all that you're doing, and we, we look forward to the new, new Herbert Hoover Middle School, or Her Herbert Hoover High School. We, we look forward to the new Clinton Elementary School and all the other uh, things that we will rebuild as part of our community. Thank you. Okay. Ms. Lovejoy, would you join us on stage, you and... Uh, Principal Kelly, as uh, we I signed the bill here today.